you're live. I know. I'm there you go. You're, you're nervous. Like the first time. Why are you hey, nervous? Hey, thank you again for being <laughs> at the Rogue Interview Show. We are with Christina with... Jordan. I'm a board certified master nutritionist, actually a top 10 nutritionist in America, and yes. I have lost half my body size. I've lost 134 pounds. Nice. Wow. Nice. And that was so easy, like drinking water, you guys. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so exactly. She just woke up one day and said, hey, you know what? This is what I want to do. Drink water in this way. But I, no, she has you know, tons I, of secrets. I us. wish it were it was that easy. I really do. I wish I could say that I just woke up and said, hey, I'm ready. And then I snapped my fingers and, the you know, the, my fairy godmother came in and she waved her little magic wand and it was perfect, but it, it wasn't. There was a lot of struggles. There was a lot of trials. There was a, at least a hundred different times that I tried to lose the weight and didn't. Were you ever in denial? Would you ever say, hey, you know what? I feel right. I, I'm a little, you know, heavy, but I'm, I'm good to go. Do you oh, give so excuses did, so to yourself? Did, absolutely. I, I was the excuses queen. And, um, you know, I, I'm so thankful. I'm married to the most amazing man who, when we married the That's day, other than me, you guys. There's yes. someone else. That's not, not him. That's not oh, yeah. me. That's someone else. His wife I'm is I'm an married. amazing guy, but He's that's married. another yes. amazing Yes, yes. You have the most amazing wife. And she is, she's Thank actually running the cameras right exactly. now. She's gorgeous. Thank you. And so I'm married to the most amazing man who, when the day we got married, I was 100 pounds heavier than him that day. So uh, my bridesmaids actually picked him up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so I would love to see that footage. <laughs> so I, we have pictures. Maybe we'll post later today. But literally, we when we got married, he is the first person to say you're beautiful. He was the first person, other than my mom. And mom, moms say you're beautiful no matter what, right? right? They got the mom. We got goggles. mom love. They do. They have mom goggles. And so I, I think that honestly learning to love myself was the first part of my journey mm -hmm. not doing this because i hated my body or i hated who i was or hated what i looked like but actually loved my body and i wanted to learn to care for something i loved because when you love it you take care of it absolutely and i know they always say you can't outrun your fork but i i always say that you can't outrun your mental state status like absolutely. if you wherever no matter you go, how there's your brain yep mm -hmm. there's your no matter how skinny you are if you're in your brain it's never you're never going to be happy enough so right. I, I wish you all could see what i see right here i got like four beautiful ladies <laughs> three in the back one here with me and i'm like nervous i'm so like never been you're so in like, our territory never now been so right? like this. we I'm actually like, voted oh! for changing the name of the show because it's the rogue interview show and we said we're going to change it to the rouge interview show exactly we're going to talk about makeup and girly stuff Cheers, like we're going to talk makeup today oh and, goodness um, gracious they're going to put it on me and make, make me look pretty oh well er. pretty er exactly. <laughs> exactly so um i want to go back a little bit more just okay. because a lot of people think that this, uh, I mean, they see you now and they're like, oh my gosh, she looks amazing. But they don't see the struggle that you went right. through before. Right. And what took you to This has been a battle. That? It's been a battle. And so, and it's true. Um, people just automatically look at the outside and they judge someone, whether you're small, fit, healthy, unhealthy, it doesn't matter. We make these perceptions and we don't know what struggle they've gone through. So for those who maybe don't know my journey or have no idea about where I came from. I started my journey at my heaviest. I was 271 pounds. I was a lot heavier than you, dude. Yes. And so I started that day, and, and I could have been a little heavier, but honestly, I didn't look. I was in denial. You know, I was putting my head in the sand. Mm -hmm. And there came a day where nothing in my closet fit. Not even my size 24 jeans fit anymore. Nothing fit. And on top of it, I had gotten diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Just, and it started as gestational, which hung around for many, many months later, and they said, I'm so sorry to tell you, you now have type two diabetes. So, and that was in my early 20s. So I had given myself uh, issues with diabetes. I had also, the way I was eating, the way I was abusing my body with food, I had given myself a thyroid disorder as well. So I found myself 20 something with two little kids I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I'm now on medications for diabetes and thyroid. And then they diagnosed me with an autoimmune condition called chronic fatigue. 
It's what they give you when they don't know what's wrong with you, but you're exhausted all the time. And they've exhausted all their efforts trying to and figure out well. Yeah. They yeah. don't know how to fix you. So you just put a yes. label right yep. there. And I was having extreme pain all throughout my knees, throughout my joints. So they started trying to put the label on me of rheumatoid arthritis at 25. And then they added on the title of fibromyalgia. Which, by the way, is autoimmune. Yeah, so all, I, all of it so far is yes, what you're saying is autoimmune. 100%, in which autoimmune, I'm now an expert in this now. I specialize in weight loss with autoimmune disorders, diabetes, thyroid disorders, which, by the way, thyroid is autoimmune. Hormonal. And, and, and yeah. hormonal, exactly. So I specialize in hormonal weight loss. Okay. What is your body doing that's making you store fat? Because honestly, I couldn't figure it out. I'm... And I know that you may automatically assume, which I know the world assumes, oh, she was just living at McDonald's, eating the french fries in the garbage, and yes, I did have that, but not as much as you would think to cause me to balloon up to that and have those kind of health conditions. What was happening is not only was I literally storing fat like crazy, I was trying to lose weight for the last 10 years. I've been on a diet since I was 13 years old. I lived on a diet. I was always the biggest kid in school. I was constantly teased. Um, I literally was stood up to go to homecoming by a kid that said, I don't date fat chicks, but he thought it would be really funny to pretend, you know, ask me out and then embarrass me in front of the whole school like that. And so I will add though, I did see him many years later. And the dude is super obese and bald, so I'm glad you, just didn't, saying. Go, you didn't go carry on them. You know yeah. that movie, Carrie? Oh, yeah. You remember that movie no. when she started going crazy? Because, yeah, yeah. yeah. carry at the prom, yeah. yeah. Uh, you no, said you so liked that, me. thank you. So many, so many, and you know, even I even had teachers pass me over uh, whenever I, I went right out of high school into college, and honestly, I, I dropped out that first semester because I couldn't fit the desks. Wow. I couldn't fit. They put, they put these tiny little desks that are you know, just on top of each other to cram more students in, and I couldn't even fit in there. And so I had to sit in the back on the chairs, the extra, the overflow, because I couldn't fit the desks. So for me, my weight was truly, it was a prison for me. I, I couldn't even climb the stairs without seeing stars. I literally flipped down the stairs carrying my newborn baby because I was so big, my blood sugar was so out of control, my body was attacking itself, which that's what autoimmune is. Yes. Your body attacks itself. And when it begins to attack itself, your body goes into crisis. So you know what happens? You no. store fat like wow. crazy. So here I am dealing with inflammation, swelling, extreme pain in my joints. All of this, my, my knees would swell up like balloons. And here I am on a diet. I'm counting calories. I'm eating 500 calories a day. Exercising. Exercising. I hired a trainer. She trained me two hours a day and then would have me run another three miles. I'm working out three hours a day, eating 500 calories, and I gained 22 pounds of fat that year. Jeez. Well, what's wrong with me? Yeah, that's what right? I like. What's or wrong the trainer's me? telling you, uh, you're not following my plan. Yes, the trainer you're thinks I'm cheating on her with McDonald's. Right. Yes. That guy is horrible. I know. Oh, my like... gosh. <laughs> He's destroyed many a lives. But literally, so she fires me. My trainer... Fires me. Heaven, boo. She fires me because Horrible. she thinks, and she actually, you know, it, and it, it was, it was frustration, but it was also for my own good because she's like, what we're doing is not working, so you need to go figure out what's going to help you. So then I go on this quest of trying to find help. I go to every expert here in Arizona that I can get my hands on. Literally, I went to over a dozen, paid thousands and thousands of dollars, and literally there was a time where I shelled out five hundred dollars to a weight loss expert doctor who looked more like a car salesman his nails were dirty he was overweight himself i'm like how are you supposed to help me you need help and so i he literally i had to pay him for him to look me in the eyes and say honestly christina i don't know why you're not losing weight go ahead here's your bill pay me up and that's and i was frustrated i'm i'm not gonna lie and say that it was easy because it was very frustrating when all the experts kept telling me the same regurgitated vomit of eat less, work out more. But what about when you're doing that and it's not working? Yeah, obviously it wasn't working. It was not working. So and what took Christina to the next level? I mean, it's all like, right. 
it's all this is sick. Oh, he, he's not frustrated. He Jeff enjoys listening to this because he just doesn't think about cookies for two days and he drops 20 pounds. Yes. You know what no, I mean? No. Yes. That's, that's my husband too. It's a, it's a man. You know, a lot of men have that crazy metabolism. Would you like to know why? You have, it's your hormones. You have different hormones set up than women. So women have to lose weight and respond differently than men. So men can be treated one way and women can be treated another. It doesn't mean that we're two totally different beings. We are similar, but your hormones are different. So you'll respond differently to me. And you know what? I'll respond differently to you. True. We're all unique and we have to biohack our own bodies, which biohack is just a cool trendy term for you find out what works for you. So if you know that cutting out carbohydrates like that works, then you do that. For me, if I cut out calories, I will put on weight faster than you can even imagine. I did a three-day fast and gained four pounds. Jeez. Oh, believe me, I was frustrated. I would look up the scale and go, yes. excuse me, I just didn't eat well, for three you, days. <laughs> and that's why I don't believe, believe it or not, at my home, I don't believe in the scale. I don't believe you should own a home scale. And here's why. The scale is not the ideal factor for mm -hmm. mental health, Mm. Nor is it an ideal factor for deciding how you're doing. Because I will tell you that in my journey, I actually weigh a tiny bit more than I did at my lowest because I started strength training and adding in more healthy carbohydrates. And I will tell you, I have a smaller pant size than I did when I was weighing less. Wow. So you don't want to necessarily focus on the scale. In fact, when I've taught at some women's empowerment events, I've actually taken a hammer and beat the crap out of a scale I in got front of thousands of women. And they awesome. loved it. They were like, yeah! <laughs> they, they loved it, and there's a reason. We hate the scale, because the scale is not the correct way to determine if you're healthy or not. I agree with you. I, it's not. I, I know, I it's agree not. with you, right? I have a, I grew up in Mexico, I was born and raised in Mexico, and I never had a scale in my house. You don't need one. That, that was like a we luxury to we have. We have them in our house. But that's, yes, we have that's them in the house now. That's my addiction, I guess. I didn't grow up. And the scale isn't an addiction. It, it is an addiction. Oh, I, I can it's, tell you that I will, tendency. I will feel good. If it goes during, No, I'll feel good during the day. And I'll be like, I'm going to get on the scale because I know it's going to be better. And it's not. Right. And I will immediately feel worse. Yep. Exactly. I'll feel back to the way I felt when I wasn't weighing myself. Exactly. And I, I, had, I did an experiment just a couple, couple months ago where I weighed in on, I brought home a scale. And I, I wanted to show everyone, this is why scales truly suck, okay? I stepped on the scale, then I went and ran my three miles, okay? I, I trail, I ran trails, because I like to go run the trails. No, I'm like cool. you, I like to get outside. I no. need the outdoors. Exactly. And that's part of me. When I'm outdoors, I feel better, my joints hurt less, and there's a reason. Because my body needs that vitamin D to, yes. to absorb the vitamin C and, and, um, and calcium so for me to have that i need to get outside so i live in the right state right we're, we're in the right place and right? that's all thyroid too exactly vitamin it, d and exactly. calcium all that so exactly. it's like parathyroid and so thyroid. there's a little biohack for your listeners right now if you have thyroid issues t hear it right now hear my words from the nutritionist you need to get out and get 15 minutes of ex exercise or just 15 minutes of direct sunlight a day yep. okay it will help your body yep um, I so, like that. well, and that's, and that's Sun. we have Sun. a we have a Sun. daughter that has thyroid disease, um, yes. serious thyroid disease, and she has been remarkably different in her attitude, attitude and feelings and everything. And she's been running in the mornings. Yes, she's fifteen. She's been running that's great. in the morning, and it's just getting out. She's so she white as better. it is. She but, you know. feels better. Oh, she does for sure. Wow. So, just getting back to our scale. So I weighed. Okay, I weighed. Went from my trail run three miles, came back and was up three pounds. Now tell me, did did my three mile run through the trails cause me to gain three pounds? No. The number one scales can lie. They literally can lie based on moisture in the air, based on the levelity, if that's a word, of the ground. Um, you you literally and every scale will weigh you different. So if you're going to use a scale, you got to be monogamous to one. One scale all the time, and you need to weigh at the same time in the same way, and just know, based on cortisol levels and hormone levels, you will be different. So for my friends watching, I'm gonna say this, and you're gonna hear this, and please, if you walk away with one thing, please throw your freaking scales <laughs> in the garbage and, and get rid of it. We should you do a show on that. Just throw bring, the all, away. bring them all here and we just We will slam it burn. to the ground. No, literally, it, they are a horrible uh, indication of health. Here's what you should focus on instead. 
Number one, your energy. How do you feel? Do you feel good? Because you can tell the difference between feeling really down and feeling up. I've been up since 4.50 this morning and I still feel good. I have energy, I feel good. You know why? Because I'm eating nutrition. I immediately get up and have a green drink, then I have a high protein breakfast with uh, healthy fruits and vegetables and a healthy fat. Then I had another snack not too long ago, so I'm having snacks throughout my Constantly. day. Constantly. Whereas whenever I was overweight and I was I was considered morbidly obese, isn't that fun to get that label? Right. Congratulations, you're morbidly obese. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. Do I get a prize? <laughs> Diabetes. Uh, <laughs> Type 2 diabetes was my prize. Yeah, literally. So I never ate. I starved myself all the time because I was so concerned about having the calorie count, right? And then I was so afraid. And, you know, we've had over the decades, we've had so many different fads come and go. You know, we've had no fat, yes. no carb, you know, no food. Fasting's in now, guys. It's called no food. It's starvation. Okay? It's a fad, just so you know. Right now is really big, the juicing. Juicing. The juicing. And I'm not... The shakes. Mm. Shakes. Okay. I'll... We'll talk about that in a minute. We'll go into the shakes. I don't, I don't <laughs> want to be mobbed, and I don't want us to get mobbed right now. And if I even say the K word, keto, I'll, oh. I'll, everyone's going to want to fight me. They're going to so, cancel it. But, yeah, but it's kind of like you said fight. earlier, though. It's whatever works for you, what makes you feel good, right? Absolutely. And, and that's the thing. You have to know what works right for you, because... I can't assume your body's exactly like mine or mine's like yours or yours or you know what I mean or yours are like each other's. We have to realize that everybody is different. Yes. Everybody is different and it is our duty and it is our responsibility to find out what works for us. Mm -hmm. And that's what woke me up out of my stupor was whenever I kept searching for everyone to fix me and I wasn't really willing to fix myself. I thought that I needed someone to fix me. so. That's how it happened. I was literally sitting at the kitchen counter. It was around midnight. I'm crying. My husband comes up and I'm like, I'm so done. I'm just gonna be fat for the rest of my life. I'm gonna die at 50. I guess that's what it is. And literally I was like, I'm done. Cause all these experts are basically telling me you're lying or I don't know what to do with you. Cause if you are telling the truth, you are a total anomaly. So basically, I'm either called a liar, either way. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to, to figure this out. And at the time, we were working a lot. We owned a magazine, we owned a marketing company, we were traveling all over the world for our magazine, we were busy, we worked 100 hours a week, and I'm not kidding, for reals. We had huge staff, huge overhead, tons of offices, it was crazy, my life was chaotic. I barely ate, I didn't have time. We were staying up three days in a row. To, to get make deadline. And on top of it, you're looking at really high staff overhead. So we had the stress of not sleeping, the stress of running staff, the stress of advertising and, and trying to run these schedules. It was just crazy. And oh, and we had two little kids. Jeez. And we're married. We're trying to balance this dream, right? We're trying Mary to balance the hustle and the family. <laughs> yeah. I saw that one coming to mind. It's crazy. It's crazy. And so my cord is always through the roof and well, that's because of fight or flight, right? Your body is thinks flight. That's right. that if you're stressing out this bad, you're stressing Something's for a reason, wrong and, we're and your body store stores everything. all your things. Exactly. Now, why couldn't the experts figure right. that out? So you know what I did? I just said, okay, nobody can fix me. I'm going to fix myself. So uh, I resigned. <laughs> I resigned from my own business. Wow. I did. So I literally I did. I quit. I said, I have to take the next year and fix me or I'm going to die. Literally, I felt like a dead cell phone that was this close to dying every day. And I said, I, I, gotta, I gotta take a break. I've gotta take a sabbatical. So we, uh, we sold the companies, which was amazing to do. We sold them. We basically took a couple years to fix me and I went back to school. I went back to school and I literally studied nutrition and I still do. You should see like my light reading for the beach is a nutritional book this big that I look up ailments and I look up what's going on and it's what I love because it set me free. If you want to know the keys to get out of prison, education, learn about nutrition and don't, 
gosh, I, I will not cuss, I promise. Don't <laughs> do another fad diet. You're allowed to, but it's okay. No, not, I, not of yours, I'm but not ours. <laughs> I'm passionate. Like, please stop searching for a diet and learn nutrition. Nutrition, real food, because you are what you eat, so don't be fast, cheap, and easy. Be real. Love be organic. Be, be authentic. And, and for goodness sakes, don't be fake. Do nothing that comes in a bag or in a can. Or in a box. Or in, a box. Or in plastic. Let go. it be real. Yeah. Let it be real. It's that simple, you guys. And then if that's still not enough, then you got to look at if the fruit's not matching the tree, if your apple tree is growing apples, if you're doing everything right and you're still not seeing results, then baby, it's the hormones. It's the hormones. Because your hormones are the control central. They decide if you eat apples all day and you gain weight, then something's off. Okay? And then we got to adjust the hormones, which that's what this is. This is all natural, organic, vegan supplements that help with hormones. Right. That's all I specialize in. It's for hormones. Well, so, when we met you, the be the biggest impact what you said to me was, why do you do diet and hate it? You're going to be doing this the rest of your life. You exactly. have to find a way that love the the intake. You have to be able to like like what you're doing in you the do. diet because it's a lifestyle. We're not if doing it for miserable, 30 days. You're not going to stay on it. Right. And, and you have, if you want to feel good, you have to eat that way for the rest mm -hmm. of your life. Because once you stop exactly. eating like that, you're going to feel miserable again. Exactly. And I also believe that the whole process shouldn't be seen as something that's shameful or wrong or miserable. That's what we do here. And I think that's what's really different about Fit Body Weight Loss versus any other weight loss clinic in the nation. And that's why we're a top 10, is that we make it fun. We make this journey cool, and because it is. It's not about, oh, I'm so, like, you, you're not here because you hate yourself. You're here because you actually love yourself, yes. and you're finally, finally going to learn to take care of your beautiful body, That's right. regardless of what it looks like. And everyone says, you know, well, what, what's the perfect size to finally wear the bikini? The size you're at? I'm serious. I'm always trying to get my patients, go do something you never would have done before because it empowers you. Go, exactly. Go do whatever it is that you've never done before because you are amazing right now and a lot of people think they don't deserve it they don't deserve to be healthy that's sad that is so you do you do deserve to be healthy and so did i but i didn't i i was just like one of those people i thought that i'm a mom and i'm married life's over for my whole you know christina the christina's world is done i was i was xander's mom or i was derek's wife or i was axton's mom I didn't have my own thing going it on. You. It wasn't me. And when I lost this weight, it felt like the whole thing fell off and I discovered who I really was. And I wasn't shy like I thought I was. And I wasn't the background kind of girl because I was the girl that sat in the back row. I was the girl that said, I don't want to be in the picture. I'll stay in the back. I don't want to comment. I don't want to go out. I want to eat at home. That's not really who I am. I actually want to go participate. Yes. I want to be a part of it. I want to run the marathons. I want to run the beach. I want to be there. And when I lost the weight, I finally had the energy to, to really be who I am. You stop your excuses. It sounds like yes. you say, okay, no more excuses to my behavior. Because that's, I think you got to stop your excuses with behavior. That's what you're going to stop yes. to say, hey, look at yourself in the mirror and say, dude, really? Are you going to freaking be like that? Or what? Yep. Pull your head out of your ass. I was Pretty in the military. Yep. So I. <laughs> Most of the stuff yep. that comes out it's is because I was, treated, <laughs> I was treated like that in the army. I say, hey, you know that's what? Right. Pull your head out of your ass and make it happen, soldier. That's how our dad and, is. And right. That's what I say, hey, oh, let's go. Well, that's how my nine-year-old is. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he would be if I'd let him, but I, I get it. I get it. And, and, you know, one thing I do see is, is people who not only just do they not feel like they're worthy, let's say they finally take the step and they're like, I'm going to do this. They give up so easily. Let me tell you guys. If I would have gave in to my excuses, and if I would have gave in to temptations, I wouldn't be here today. And you guys wouldn't be watching, and thousands of people still would be heavier and, and not happy, and there would be no book, there would be nothing. Um, what the, the one thing that really opened my eyes, because I, I was pretty quiet about sharing my journey for a long time. Mm -hmm. I've been at my goal weight now over 10 years and three kids, so I've maintained it. And I know I, not to pick on moms, but we do use our kids as an excuse. And I said that I on national that. television, <laughs> on the doctor's <laughs> television show, Dr. Stork asked me, he said, what wisdom do you have here? And I said it in front of millions. I said, 
women use their children as excuses and the room went, <gasps> Yeah, I just said that. I just said it because I did and I know we do. We say our bodies are shot, you know? We've got tiger stripes, AKA stretch marks, so what's the point? But moms out there watching, I'm telling you, you're sexy, you're strong, you're beautiful, and it's still there. And I don't care if you're 30 or 40 or 50 or 60, it's there and you can be that. Again, I didn't lift weights until mid 30s. I didn't do, I couldn't do a push up till I was 35. I, I, I couldn't do a pull up till I was 37. So, you know, it's never too late to get strong. One of my closest friends, uh, she owns a gym actually in the same mall we're located in. She's in her 50s, gorgeous, and can run circles around 19 year olds. I mean, 19 year old she guys. Jump over She's got a six pack and everything. And, mm -hmm. you know, I love that age. There is no expiration for health and getting healthy. I get, we get people that call all the time. I'm 60, Does it is will it work for me? Absolutely. If you're breathing, yeah. it works for you. I think that women will use their children as an excuse too for time. Mm -hmm. Yes. They say I don't have time to meal prep. I don't have time You don't to... have time not to. Right. And there's going to be you a have cost to learn that. somewhere. There's going to be a cost somewhere. If you have time to stand in line for your Starbucks, hmm. you have time to throw some blueberries in a bag, throw a hard boiled egg, and if you really don't have time like me, I have, I have a lot going on in my world too. If you really don't have time, then buy pre-hard-boiled eggs or buy, for example, Sprouts Farmer's Market sells amazing pre-grilled chicken and salmon, salmon and shrimp and you can just meal prep that way. Some weeks, especially when we're traveling and I'm doing different things like that, then that, that's how I meal prep. And you know what? It's better than hitting a drive-thru. Mm -hmm. And if you must hit the drive-thru, there's places like Salad to go where you can get a beautiful salad, or Chick-fil-A, you can get a nice salad. You just can't touch the waffle fries. Right, mad <laughs> but, greens too, I love that. And mad greens, example, oh. there are options. It's just, are we willing to put our energy there? I don't know any of those places. <laughs> she was saying well, all the time, like, You should have seen, she, you should have seen how like, tired and bloated and crazy my children were when I came home from my oh, weekend away. Yeah. They were all like, we had pizza and all that stuff. They're just like, yeah. blah. Well, that's the thing. And we think that kids don't benefit from the results, and I'm telling you, they do. They super do. I know my sister's children have seen an incredible turnaround in the last few months of, and she's lost over 50 pounds since January. Yes, you know, I, we, since I since know January. Her. Yeah, you saw her yes. when she began, and my own children have had a huge turnaround, not just physically but mentally. I saw my middle son go from a C student to a straight A student, changing his nutrition because he wasn't getting tired during those courses anymore and he was staying alert and sharp. And he went from being kind of like, I don't really like school, I'm tired all the time, I don't feel good, to he's, he's teaching math to other kids in his grade. He's a tutor on math of all things. Jeez. He didn't get it from me. No, not me. No, he didn't get it from me. But I wanted you to grab something. See this? Large oh, yellow. Grab that. Someone oh, show me that. Grab that. Grab that. I want you to grab that. Well, large. Can I sh do the little one first? You can do the little one. Because this is want. this is like in my brain. So so <laughs> this right here, you get the big one. <laughs> this right here, you know when uh, patient. I know. Grab that. Put it right here. Oh, there well, you go. Don't think I want. <laughs> do you know what this is? It's yuckiness. <laughs> This? Well, yeah. Well, I'm pregnant. This is you like should pull this out. Nobody ever looks deformed. that way pregnant. I love uh -huh. this. I love this for my patients. You know why? Babe. <laughs> because. <laughs> Who didn't give it a shake? Shake these. Shake, oh shake, shake. Oh my god. Okay, this is a human replica of just five pounds of body fat. Just five. Damn. So the next time you complain, it was only five pounds. Five pounds of body fat is incredible. Here, you can hold the one pound because I'd love to give this a shake. Isn't this fun? I love shaking it. It's just so fun. I love it. I love it. Give it a shake, 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 shake. But like shake your weight. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, you knock down all the cameras if you do that it. to me. I love this because this is what five pounds of human body fat looks like. That is for real. This is this is this is the weird, real but it's true though. It's kind of gross. It's fallen on the floor a few times, but. Literally, like this is what it looks like. It's and like an alien. I know. Did we get a picture of that? Because yeah. mm, we need, yeah, because that is, that's amazing. And Can I we know, share this fat? I know. Right? <laughs> no, 
<laughs> this is literally the size oh, of my first child. All of you are like, what are you doing? <laughs> wow. So five that's pounds. A five pounds. Your first child was five pounds? He's a little, yeah, right around five. He's tiny. Little guy. <laughs> <laughs> They're taking pictures once we drop this to yes. podcast so no yes. one can see what yes. we're doing. She hates pictures, by the way. Oh, oh yeah. She, oh, she <laughs> hates them. You know what, though? I see it. You gotta look to her page, though. It's beautiful. I really like it. You really do have to celebrate even the littlest victories when you're, I agree when with you're you. on this journey. And that's what makes it fun. If you are not going to be proud of yourself till you've lost 50 pounds, how do you ever expect to go to 60 or 70? you got to be proud of yourself at 5 pounds. You know what? Be proud of yourself at 1 pound. Just be proud that you're taking action. That you're just doing something. This is 1 pound. pound. Imagine imagine 1 pound a week even. And and honestly, we'll have patients that... Oh, God. Can I fry it and make chicharrones? I'll put them in a tortilla. Yeah, um, it's, it's, exactly. There's your keto. I did not recommend it. There's <laughs> my keto right there. There's your keto. But, but you really do. You, you have to celebrate the victories, big and small. And that's what I did. So I started my journey. And um, I started by educating myself. We were really, we were, the, I'm the, we were the book nerds. We would go and every date night was at Barnes & Noble buying a new book. Or it was at the library. And... We actually started budgeting for books. Then I went to school. I went back to school, re-enrolled, and um, to become a nutritionist. And I had two little kids at home, and I literally would do exams at 2 a.m., sipping green teas. And if you want something, you got to do it. You just have to do it. And, and that's the way I see it is if this is on your heart, whatever it is, whether it's to get healthy, lose the weight, go back to school, start a business, who knows? Write that book. So what make you do this? Like, I know, I know you lost yeah. weight, and that was your training. Yeah. You wanna, you're very passionate about, about help helping. People. I was gonna say you stole yeah. that word out of my mouth. Yeah. She's really passionate, and I can feel it. And you guys feel the vibe. It's, it's just like I'm so passionate about helping y'all. And and the best way to go is obviously to go to her website and check all the info. And mm-hmm. she's good responding, quick. We so. do. We have a full staff that I never dreamed. You know, when I began my journey, I would be doing this. Um, I never dreamed that I'd be on the cover of magazines talking about weight loss and nutrition and health and um, people of magazine. I saw I, yeah, people of magazine. Yeah, maybe you could grab one and grab the Women's World. Yeah, I've been on. Um, I'm so honored to be able to have done that because that that really is like the Cinderella of the whole story. Is uh, two years ago, I was asked by a patient. A patient she said I'm a publicist could I just sh- shoot your story out and see if anyone would like it and she called me two days later and said I've never seen anything like this in my life everyone wants it all the big ones Good Morning America extra inside edition the doctor's television show people magazine women's world first for women magazine I saw they, it. I they all saw it. want it yeah, they were all like, we want your story. I'm like, okay. This is Women's World? Yes, Women's World. I see it. It looks Perfect. Good. And uh, we're going to bring the uh, other one, the next one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah, Women's World was pretty cool. They actually, I told them I couldn't fly out to them, so they flew out to me. Aww. And they brought the awesome. crew, and they, I mean, they were amazing. People Magazine came to my house. They flew me to New York multiple times, but then they also came to my house for interviews and all of that. It was, I felt like a little rock star. It was people crazy. People come from out of state to see you, too. People they fly in all the time. Friends. We had someone just last week come in from Minnesota. We get a lot of Canadians, Minnesota. a lot of Californians. Yeah, Minnesota. Yeah. yeah, they came in. And by the way, her her son made the ASU football team. So wow. she just was having a, a heyday of celebration. <laughs> And so, you know, people do, they fly in from all over, but also we have people that live in other countries, other states that do my program are seeing amazing results and have never, ever stepped foot in the clinic. Yeah, I, I actually Oh yeah, oh yeah, oxygen. It. Thank oxygen you, oxygen. Too. I forgot it's oxygen. Miss, yes. what's her name again? The lady, the, the black lady, the owner Oprah. of this oxygen? Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's being funny. Yeah, I don't know. He's saying, who owns oxygen? Yeah. Everybody. Is that Trump's yeah. wife? Oh, stop. Oh, not, oh. And now they're going to knock us off. Every time you say something like that. Oh, every time I say something about Trump, I, I get in trouble. Don't say anything. They don't say anything. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's, been, um, it's been a real journey to have that because I was just like everybody else. I was a mom. 
I had no formal training when I began my journey and I just got hungry for a change. Which you had the desire, and that's what I was talking oh, about before. 100%. Because before you didn't have the desire, you were, I mean, you were working to, to lose that weight, but you were going the wrong, the wrong, I was. wrong route. Well, and I was doing what most people do. They think it's a diet. They think I need to, they think you need to kill yourself in the gym, hire another personal trainer, um, go on the next fad. Which you did all of I tried all of it. I've done everything out there, including Phentermine. I've tried, I've tried Medifast, Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig. Um, wow. I've done it all. I've done the grapefruit diet. I've tried Atkins. <laughs> I've tried keto. I've tried, I've tried um, the low fat, no fat craze. I, I've done it all. I've done it all. And I might see results for a week and then my body is intelligent and it responds and then it shuts off all fat loss. So yeah, I get it. I, I get being frustrated. And I think that's why our patients love working with us is because I'm not just someone that was born healthy and fit that just says, I'm going to get you healthy and fit because I'm healthy and fit. I'm healthy and fit now, but I had to work my way out of the pit to the palace, if that makes sense. I was the lowest of the low, considered morbidly obese, diagnosed with life-threatening diseases, told you're gonna be on medication for the rest of your life, you're handicapped from your obesity, to reaching millions, maybe billions, because I believe People Magazine, I've been on it three times now, and each round reaches over 42 million. And the cover that I was on was their highest selling magazine for half their size I saw it too. ever. Ever, we broke records with that, and so we're showing your pants, right? Yes. Yes. It's crazy. It's crazy. And, and that's and that makes you feel good, just because you are helping and touching people. I want them to know they can do it too. Yes. Yeah. They can do it too. I am nobody special. I'm just a girl that decided to try and try and try and try and try, despite everything, despite all the the setbacks and i will tell you a lot of people will say oh you must have money let me tell you when we started we had no money we sold everything we 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 were we were involved in that crash of 2009 and 2008 we lost our home our cars everything too just like a lot of people during that time and that's when i lost my weight was during the time of nothing it was literally we had hit rock bottom i was literally bankrupt in my health and my finances then and I found a way to eat organic I found a way to work it in my budget and I still did it with nothing nothing I had nothing I was driving my parents car then literally I borrowed their car so I could get groceries so, so no freaking excuses. No, excuse. no excuses <laughs> no excuse my sister's doing this right now as a single mother a single mom doing this and if you're healthy and happy that makes your kids healthy and absolutely happy. Mm -hmm. and then I have a patient she lives in another state her name is Relaine she's in her 70s she's the sweetest lady and she's never set foot in my clinic she's lost over 117 pounds wow. and she works the night shift at a gas station so she can afford to feed herself organically and do her hormones and take care of herself so she's 73 72 73 she just had a birthday she's a grandma who works at gas state at the gas station at night all night so she can take care of herself so no excuses i don't have the time you don't have the ability to not make the time you make it you make the time. They say the top achievers in the world all believe in self-care. That like it's like some 90%, yeah, it's really high. It's because they value themselves. The, the top you're achievers. You're investing in yourself. Exactly. Well, you're the, you're, if, you're the main machine. You're exactly. the main organ. If you don't believe in yourself, who the heck will? That's I don't, know that, I don't think time. that's the word I was looking for, but machine works, I guess. That's so right. He tells me that all the time because I go, I'm going to school and I work and I do all the things too. And it's you just hard. the thing it. that they sacrifice the most is the exercise. You do. Okay. You do. And if you have time to sit on social media, <laughs> you have time to work out. Yeah. So yeah. just listen to us while you're on, you right, know, exactly. on the treadmill or, yeah. or walking. I agree with you. Exactly. I think this idea, the human being are the number one adaptable machine. Yes. Absolutely. We are so resilient. And Absolutely. we're so powerful. Um, we have patients who are in wheelchairs who are finding ways to get little workouts in. We have patients that have, only, you know, they're missing limbs and they're making time 
to get healthy. And we have patients, like I said, who have literally so many handicaps against them, whether it's lifestyle, such as they don't have the support at home, or financially, or physically, and, and they have illnesses. We have patients that have had cancer come in and do our program and they're seeing great results. They're, and, and what's so beautiful is there's no condition that you can't overcome, I believe, with nutrition. And even if they say there is no cure, I will say that nutrition always helps. I truly believe that. And, and if you fast forward from where I was to where I am today, I will tell you that I'm completely free of all all issues, all medical conditions. I'm off of all medications. I've lost 134 pounds and I no longer have diabetes. I no longer have thyroid issues. I no longer have pain. I, I, I have no pain anymore. And that was probably the most freeing part of all of this. No more joint pain, no more rheumatoid arthritis, none of it. No more chronic fatigue. I have energy for days. That's perfect. I think I'm so really... too. And I think that food has been, has become the biggest drug that's killing America in my it opinion. It can heal us and it can kill us. Yep. And we, we have to choose. Every bite we take is a decision. Will this heal my body or will this kill my body? Because it really does. And um, I, I'll just share something right here. Do you see this little blister on my finger? Yes. This is from having a bite of a pretzel. Gluten. Oh, look at her arm. Yep, someone's else. She's showing you. Yeah, her yeah. sister's in the background. I have. I <laughs> she have, showed me earlier. I have early. celiacs. I'm celiacs. Celiac disease me means too. that you can't touch gluten, lactose, or sugar. And when I do touch it, I get ill. So literally, this, I have a blister on my finger that hurts like a bee sting. It really does. It hurts so bad. So you have them too. My wife is from oh. celiac. So yeah. So a lot of people unknowingly are suffering from a lot of food mm -hmm. allergies, a lot of autoimmune issues and have zero idea that's what's causing it. They just think that, I guess I just must feel this way 24 seven. And um, you don't really know until you get healthy and you're like, oh my gosh. The doctors don't know. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. just telling you, they, they don't teach this in, in medical school. They don't, they're not required. They're not required to teach nutrition in medical school. I think it's 13 hours, if that. Yeah. It's wow. very small. So and I will give a, a shout difference. out though. I'd like to give a shout out to Hyatt Medical School because Hyatt, the Hyatt Healthcare Medical Schools actually do train nutrition to their doctors. And uh, I'm actually one of their trainers when it comes to nutrition. So their MD students will come here, they'll intern, and they'll learn about nutrition. So when they see their patients in the future and they prescribe something, let's say for thyroid, okay? They not only give the medication because that's what, that is what they're taught, right? But they also tell them well, you should avoid these foods, or you should try eating this, or did you know that this food will help with this condition? So it's not just about a pill and go away. Mm -hmm. It's about integrating traditional medicine with holistic, natural nutrition for the best results, because let food be thy medicine and medicine <laughs> be thy food. It's real, it's very real. How long have you been clean now? I don't know how to say it. Yeah, clean. really, literally, it is, it's like a drug. Well, you know, I've been clean. It's, it's I, food is it's like a drug. It is. Like sugar is and in the brain, it, it feel it operates. In fact, sugar can, fires off in the brain yes. stronger than cocaine. Okay, so don't feel bad if you're having a sugar addiction because it's real, and your brain. It, you have to give yourself the same grace you would for a drug addiction. Mm -hmm. You do, and and you can't go alone. You need people to help you. You need people to keep you on track. Like for a drug addict to just say, I'm done with cocaine for the rest of my life and their whole family's doing cocaine in front of them, even the five-year-old, right? You're, <laughs> you're gonna have a hard time. And, yeah. and sugar is the, my house and you know? the, sugar, <laughs> the sugar is the only drug in America you can do in a kindergarten classroom. So it's gonna be really hard to break that and that's why it's okay to ask for help. It is. And, and I have been off of all of the sugar and all the junk. Doesn't mean I don't have a treat every now and then. I do. And Donut. No, I don't like donuts. You know what I like? I like I like savory. I'm a chips yeah. and salsa. I'm chips and salsa and right. cheese. Yes, salty, Salt, crunchy. Yeah. And salty. then that's what I get. I break out. Get a yeah. pretzel. Get a yes. good free pretzel. Yeah, gluten free. I know, but I just, they got the I just didn't do it then. I just I had the real thing. And so, <laughs> oh, can't and so help that you're, literally, it. um, it's been uh, yeah. 13 years. 13 years. Wow. Almost 13 years. Almost 13 years. So it's 12 I, years. I feel like the universe is aligning because that's the second time I've heard that whole cocaine and drug and yeah, sugar absolutely. thing today. So maybe it's I need to get rid of my sugar. Well, that's my. I think if you walk away with anything, it's not being more like, don't let that be an excuse. 
let it be, let it empower you to realize you do need help. Yeah. You need to treat it where you need the same help. And sometimes, just like if you're uh, dealing with addiction in any other area, no matter what it is, you need a replacement, not a removal. Mm -hmm. You can't just rip away, I'm no longer smoking. You have to replace it with something yes. otherwise because you have these rivets in the brain that will take you right back to it. You have to find a replacement. You can't just say, I'm no longer eating this uh, brownie that I've eaten for the last four years every day at two o'clock in the afternoon. Well, what are we going to eat instead? We have to have a plan. And then we have to be ready for the temptation because it's gonna come. Mm -hmm. And so- Well, you and if you, you can't, you don't replace it with something healthy, another addiction will fill in its Absolutely. place. So people that lose their addiction to something else can gain an addiction Absolutely. to something else. So. And I will say there are certain healthy things I'm super addicted to. Like I have to have a green drink in the morning. When I began my green drink journey, I hated it. I was it. looking at it. I'm sorry, that was horrible. I interrupt all the time. No. However. I don't shut up. So I know, right? It's funny. We were saying, are we going to be able to fill 15 However, minutes and we're going on 45? So. I'll no. be quiet. <laughs> the, the green you had something you were drinking a green I think it was like a green glass spinning. like a glass mm -hmm. no like a wine glass yeah I put it in a fancy glass so she always that? has wine green? glasses yes it was because a wine glass I know <laughs> and you know why I like if I'm gonna drink it I'm not drinking it out of a plastic cup I want to drink and I want to eat off of nice plates and nice glasses and nice silverware I want I want it to be enjoyable and that's another thing like I said this should be miserable this should be enjoyable so. I do a green drink and I put it in a beautiful glass that has spirulina. Spirulina is actually a water vegetable. It can be both uh, salt-based and fresh water. And it has the salt. I do both. Okay. I do both. And it also has kale, celery, uh, spinach. It has a bunch of different um, cucumber. cucumber. It has, uh, it also has, it has lemon and pink things. grapefruit. You could actually put that in there. They're actually a thermogenic. They, they boost fat burning. So, but they're, don't do jalapenos if you have IBS. It will inflame your intestines. <laughs> so, so, just to be clear. Just to be clear. But again, everybody's different. So, sure. I have found a green drink that works incredible for my system. And I do have a green drink that I recommend that we can leave the link below. And Perfect, if yeah. people want to check it out, and if anyone wants to check out my weight loss program, this is my number one weight loss program. It's called the Forever Fit Elite. And most of my patients lose between 15 to 27 pounds a month. Wow. I know, it's crazy. We I, had someone ask us about, what about alcohol or wine? Well, al alcohol and wine <laughs> are sugar <laughs> and pure decay for the body. So <laughs> they need to be reserved as a um, treat. And I'm probably the only nutritionist that will tell you this, but if you're going to have alcohol, go with vodka with a little bit of zero calorie and add some lime in there to help digest and break down those sugar. sugar <laughs> He's smiling. He's so smiling at me because that's right. my drink of choice. Right there. If, if you're going to do it, if you're going, but honestly, you've got to realize that right there is the exact opposite of your health goal. Okay. Oh, yes. No. So I'll once a month, it. you know, maybe as a treat, an anniversary, a birthday, and don't have like 20, <laughs> have like Sorry. one. You know, and be controlled. No, I have patients that own vineyards. So we have to have real talks. And, I, and what's great is I don't tell them, no alcohol at all. We just have to modify. And for them, one glass a week is the biggest win of wow. their life. And so we find, but we find a replacement. Because remember, you like don't Like a glass like this? <laughs> no, 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 no. They're going to want to control bit every themselves. Because <laughs> that's the goal. Yeah. Is, is what if they Absolutely. could just really only have that much at dinner every night? It would hurt them. A lot of, and a lot of the people that have dependency on alcohol, it's a habit. And it's usually a B12 deficiency too. Oh, so they well, actually say that people who have B12 alcohol deficient. issues have a B12 deficiency. So we offer B12 injections here that a quick B12 injection, boom, and you're feeling, because it's a, it's a blood sugar issue. Okay. Alcohol raises your blood sugar radically. So when you're feeling really down and, oh, I'm exhausted, you want it and it bumps you up. So it's a drug. It's a drug. It, it's a, it manipulates your blood sugar. So if you're dealing with alcohol issues, number one, don't feel bad. Just realize there's ways to overcome it. And there, it, it's kind of like having a baby. You can just have the baby and have all the pain or you can get the epidural and do it an easier way. <laughs> and so I believe if we can remove the struggle, why not? So a B12 injection, or I actually have this right here is an amazing, it's a B, it's a super B supplement. Okay. It has, it's not just B12, it's the B complex, which is what you need it can help stabilize blood sugar so you won't crave uh, alcohol or sugar or carbohydrates or sweets as much. So 
I'm listening. But I promise. I'm listening. I should get some of that. Yeah, no, it's amazing. <laughs> Super B energy. Yes. Yeah, but you have great. I'm perfect. I'm gonna go and worry about me. I'm perfect. She's not talking tr- about me. <laughs> I have no problem with that. I don't have a problem with it. to you all people out there. <laughs> you got to leave by example. <laughs> exactly. Just saying. Exactly. Just saying. Practice oh, what you preach. And, and, and I think we should close with that, is that I know a lot of people are looking at me going, oh, well, you have the most supportive family. Uh-huh. Or you have, you know, you have, you have this whole support group. You got this tribe of people cheering for you. I didn't in the beginning. I, I was the first person in my family to reverse diabetes. First one ever. I was the first person to eat organic. I was the first person to lose any type of weight and get healthy. I was the first person, including in my immediate home. I was the first person. My husband was thin, but he could eat whatever he wanted. He got those, he got the DNA lottery there. Okay. I didn't. And so for the first year I had to control myself. I had to, I had to be the example. And that's what I recommend to you guys. Somebody has to take the lead. Why not you? And somebody has to lead your family into health. It might as well be us. It might as well be us. So somebody has to do it. So I'm going to step up and be the leader. And that's why, that's why going back to your struggle, they see you now. That's the thing. Yeah. They see you. And they're like, oh, no, she got it all down. She didn't have it down, you guys. She, no, she I did not have it down. She busted her ass for the yes. longest And a lot time. of mistakes, too. A lot of mistakes, yes. a lot of crying, a lot of... Oh, just frustration, a lot of a lot of trying everything out there, nothing works, a lot of money. And I'm so yes. thankful that I can help people avoid the mistakes, the pitfalls, and the wrong turns and the U-turns that I had to make. I, I want to help people not lose thousands of dollars on stupid supplements that don't work, on plans that are just wrong, just scientifically wrong and can can do this the healthy way because a lot of times too there's programs out there that they're 800 900 dollars a month and you'll lose maybe 30 pounds but then you gain 35 back in 40 days Mm -hmm. so and i'm not going to throw any names out there but they're out there and you can google them right now and that's what's (laughs) going to happen you guys and and then they finally come here and they're like finally a, a place that's not a diet that teaches real lifestyle changes and i'm not going to kill you in the gym or starve you or shame you. This is a positive environment where you can really learn to become your healthiest you. I am so glad she, we have you on the show just because I mean, you are a legit nutri- nutritionist. Yep. You know, this this is it. She's like number 10 like, in the country. In the country. In the freaking country. Oh, no, yeah. in Utah. I mean, Arizona. Utah. Utah, <laughs> California. In the country. Well, you we get patients like, from all over. Yeah, a lot so of Utah, California, Canada. Texas, Canada. And then we've even had several come in from like Florida, the, over east, coming over. And and it's, it, it's truly inspiring to me that these people are so ready. Yes. You know, um, I don't know if I would have been as brave as them. But I know that the people who take the biggest risks, they usually have the biggest testimony. And they're good hands because she's so And our team, so our honest. team is wonderful. And, and I, I would love for you to meet the rest of the team. We have a wonderful clinic nutritionist. We have nurses on staff. We're actually board certified here. So what that means is that everything we do here, you can write off as a medical expense. So even the nutrition, wink, wink, like you can write off your food because we're prescribing it um, and we do accept HSAs which are health savings account and FSAs here not many places do we do because we do have a medical director and everything that we do offer our patients is vegan all natural made in an FDA registered facility is third party tested which is huge meaning we send it off and we pay extra for it to go to a third party facility to make sure it's potent and that it's pure and that it does what we say it does and we're cruelty free. We even and even our bottles, <laughs> even our bottles are free of toxins and chemicals and additives, and that's important to me. I work too hard to get my patients healthy to put toxins back into them. And if if you are looking for a nutritionist, a healthy way, the healthy way, then I think you found it. If you're ready to to make that change, because she wasn't ready, or a lot of people is not ready. But when you're ready to say, hey, you know what, I need to talk to Christina. You, go to you can call us, and, I'll, and I'll give you the number. How do they find you? How yes, we'll find yes, you. you can find us. First of all, the best thing to do is find us on social media. 
which is our, our tag on both Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest and Twitter and Snapchat. We're on all of them. <laughs> I know, on all of them. But it honestly, has to be. It's Fit Body fish, Weight Loss. Fish, it's fish, fish. Fit Body Weight Loss. And online at fitbodyweightloss.com. You can go and see all our testimonies. We have our programs. It's We're very straightforward. Unlike a lot of places, we even list the prices. And we're very, 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 very affordable compared to most. I know uh, other places that literally sell amino acid therapy for $900 a month. And this right here, you can get it for $129. And by the way, this is free this week. We do a free gift this week. This is free with any purchase this week, over $99. It's it's amazing. And you have something going on today, too. Right? We do. Offered something to we, the we do. We do. We actually have a summer special going on. And just give us a call, and we'll help you find something that's right for your budget. And that number is 844 844- Five three seven two four zero eight, and of course you can send us an email through the website at fitbodyweightloss.com or send us an email directly at fitbodyweightloss at gmail.com We're and follow tag us. We're going to all that information. Yes. We're going to tag it all here so you guys can see it, view it, and contact her. Thank you, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. I really, you got this. I really do <laughs> appreciate doing great. the... Uh, <laughs> He's like, I really... I was looking forward to this opportunity yes. because... Because it's something that people want to know. It, it, it's yeah. something healthy, something that's going to help them out. So Absolutely. I'm, I'm and, I, and I love sharing, right now. and I love talking, as you can tell. Right. We could keep I, I just said that to them. I'm like, getting these two together, I don't, I don't know if they're going to stop. These phones are about to die. <laughs> <laughs> and I must, uh, this is all my interviews, too. I, like, I'm, I'm not a serious guy. I, I'm good. good. I'm just, and you know what? It should be fun. And weight loss, weight loss and wellness should be fun. It should be enjoyable. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you. Be sure to follow him at the Rogue Interview Show. Be We're sure not going to change it to, what was it? Rouge. The We're Rouge. not changing not it to Rouge. Rouge. <laughs> and be sure to follow us at Fit Body Weight Loss. We'd love to connect with you. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Love you a long Bye. time. Bye. Love you. Good job, guys.